guys, thanks for tuning in to Flip It TV. Tonight I'm here in Dolan's Warehouse in Limerick where I'll be catching up with very special guests, the Japanese pop stars. Check it out. Are you recording this now? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah it's brilliant. I've, I've been coming in for years and years, so it's um, I've seen Limerick many, many times. Yeah, where have you been? In here a few times. Yeah, and uh, yeah, all, all over the place. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to a weekend with these chaps. Um, and yeah, Ireland's always been, been amazing. Yeah, the atmosphere is just superb. Looking forward to it. Very yeah, much. Justin, what's your like? What's your interest in music? Like, who would be your? What are you listening to right now? Uh, oh no, I hate that question. Sorry, but like, what's um, on your iPad right now? I, be, I listen to a lot of. Oh, I'm quite in. Oh, I'm in a bit of a disco phase at the yeah. moment. Yeah. So I've been listening to a lot of old and new sort of disco things. So that's my. Uh, I've got this new sort of act called the Deadstock 33s, and that's kind of in a psychedelic disco mode. So um, that, I come listen to a lot of that sort of stuff and um, just be listening to any record, which is quite quite something. The video is just yeah. blowing my mind. Yeah, it's brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> Japanese pop stars. How many times have you played Limerick now? Is this your fourth time? It's uh, this, Fort, this uh, year. Well, this year? Yeah. No, well, I don't know. We've played it quite a lot. Limerick was like, it gave us our first show here. We started out, this is where we, we, well, we didn't give birth here, but this was our first show <laughs> um, in the Trinity rooms. Yeah. It got messy, so we can uh, I don't know. We've played here what? <laughs> a lot of times. Too many times? A lot of times over the last <laughs> yeah. four years. Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe Clark's been one of the early believers in the band and gave us our first break, so I think Limerick was lucky to have him here to be like an ambassador of dance music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you have a huge list of credentials to your name so far, you really do. Like, what, is there anything that you'd be proudest of? Like, this year alone, like, you got voted Best Dance Act? Uh, we get the second album out of the way. <laughs> well, we'll be We'd be very, very happy whenever it's all signed, sealed, and delivered, um, and we can go and enjoy playing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what's been your favourite like festival to play at so far, or gig, live gig, whatever? Oh, well, normally that's right. to you too, Justin. Oh, Norm normally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like blind it. Face <laughs> <laughs> number three. Uh, <laughs> normally the. The answer to that would be Fuji Rock in Japan. That's just a mind blowing experience, but Oxygen last year was pretty special. Electric Picnic as well. was good as well. Electric Picnic. Any yeah. Irish, Irish fans have been great for us. I mean, it's, 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 it is great to be, obviously, to come back home and, and play a show that you've got a host of people that have been there since the start that have followed us and come to your show and know all our songs. And it's just it's fantastic with the support that the show is. And when you get to play a festival that the tent's absolutely rammed, the people that are, I can't say singing our songs, but <laughs> humming our songs or shouting back, quietly <laughs> shouting back at us. It's something else, they hum along with them. <laughs> so this is good. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I've always really enjoyed it. Oh, Oxygen has been, always been a great festival. I like it because the it's often the weather's pretty bad and I quite yeah. like the But I like the sort of Just fun in the face of adversity, you know. It's it's good. Good. We've, we've kind of got this like, Come on, let's do yeah, it. No, like exactly. we wear our wellies, we'll still go out. Kind exactly, of an attitude yeah, that's, towards that's, it, like because that's because we all be. love what we're doing here. Like exactly, yeah. But um, again, back to um, you guys. Um, you've collaborated with some really good guys, like Prove Armada. What's like? How do you go about choosing who you're going to like collaborate with? Oh, and again, uh, oh, sorry, no, no. sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that was Joe again. Joe. Joe Clark started. Away. Away. He had Groove Armada. Um, for a show in Limerick and we got a call to say that they'd been chatting about us and they'd heard one of the, our first tracks or something like that and Joe said he knew us and literally the next thing we were getting the phone call they say could we do a remix? <laughs> <laughs> this is an interview! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about well, the new week. album that's coming out summer. This summer isn't it? <laughs> 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 trying to get <laughs> um, You're trying to have more? Well it's, essentially we've got it finished but um, what we're going to do now is think that the release plan sort of changed. We've now got 
as Justin was saying there, we've got a new video for Destroy, and I think we're going to sort of ramp everything up and extend, as the record label call it, the plot. So we're just pushing things back a little bit to sort of build things up more and more and more to sort of to make let sure when it goes out it's right instead of rushing, rushing things out. I want it to be spot on the whole so way. So have you thought of any dates for this? For timeline for, for the album? For the album? Well, initially it was supposed to come out the first week of August. Um, we've gone through a a couple of meetings where now that the timeline's sort of changed, we haven't a clue when it's going to be. Really? <laughs> and like, have you got like anything you can tell us about it? Like, any what, what line are you going down or well, any collaborations you could? Well, this is the, the thing now, we have a few collaborations. We've obviously done uh, our, our next single is a collaboration with a guy called John Spencer um, from John Spencer Blues Explosion. Um, he's doing a track with us called Destroy. Um, we were not supposed to leak any of it, but Green Velvet's and all our collaborations, which he leaked already on Twitter. Um, we've got a track called Let Go, so we've freely been chatting about that. That's, that's one of my favourite tracks and I'll put them on it as well. And we've done a few collaborations with some popular Irish artists and some sort of iconic artists from the 80s and stuff like that. It's just, we're, we're, we've been really, really lucky to sort of work with people that we've you know, grown up listening to. And but they're, uh, they're not obvious people, so to speak, no way people would collaborate. Like so well I am seems to be doing well I'm doing everything. Yeah. <laughs> which is good, which is good, but no way people would go for it's not obvious people that we went for, so hopefully it'll That's just another way of saying that Will I am said no. We <laughs> <laughs> try again. <laughs> well I won't. <laughs> well I won't. <laughs> well I won't. <laughs> well am I what? <laughs> I hope we never see it. Brilliant. Well we actually we can't wait for it like do you have any last words before we finish up? Um, um sounds like before you get shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, just really looking forward to a good gig and good weekend of gigs. Let's say we're turning with one of Icon here, last night, Justin Robinson. Big fan, massive fan. <laughs> and um, just looking forward to a brilliant weekend of having it in the, the deep south of Ireland. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> 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 I was going to say something. Right. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Justin. 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 Thanks, Justin.